Today we're talking about the Lon and Lyrians cat-like extraterrestrials that come from Kepler-62, the man system, found in Lyra star constellation. In their star system, Kepler-62, the man system, there are five planets that exist there. On the first one closest to the sun, you have the Lon, which are the cat-like extraterrestrials. On the second planet, you have the Laraka and they are reptoid indigenous species there. The third planet, you have the Tal. The fourth planet, you have the Al. And the fifth planet, you have the Nor. All of these beings are at the heart of humanoid species. And found within this area is an interdimensional vortex, which is easy access to a multitude of different destinations. And all of these beings protect protected this interdimensional vortex. That was until the Sakaira Draconian Empire came along, and unfortunately the Lan's world, Agora, was set dead in their sights, and they completely terrorized this planet, and they really caught them off guard, and they were not equipped to handle a blow this devastating. So the Lani, they escaped and went to the top planet which was the third planet during this time the Tali elite and the government made certain treaties and deals with the Sakaira Draconian Empire and during this time was known as the Lyra Draconian Wars during these times of treaties many other species went on a mass exodus and went throughout the universe to colonize many other places as well now through preconditioning, the Lani has been shown in many different TV shows and movies. For example, the Thundercats. Sounds familiar, right? Going throughout the universe, help saving the universe, protecting. Their ships are oblong and sort of look just like this. Really interesting and they have a unique shape to them almost like a cigar. They have been involved here with Earth for a very long time and it is ironic that in the show Thundercats you can see them going up against reptilians referencing the Draconian Lyrian Wars and the star system Draconis is directly above the Lyra star constellation. They were essentially neighbors and things did not work out and the Sakaira Empire completely terrorized the Lyra star constellation, including other reptilians that lived there as well. And they were not the only ones that tried to play their hand in this. As well, the Orion alliances tried to do the same thing. Now, lions are known for being courageous, strong, highly adaptable, and so many other amazing properties. But the lion are not cats. They are not lions. They may look like it, but believe it or not, they kind of get offended when they're referred to as cats. Now, the Lani and the Lyrians, when they first came here to Terra, Earth, they had a lot of other people who were competing for the territorial rights of this planet, including the Anunnaki and the cousins of the Anunnaki, the Golden Birds and many other beings that are associated with them. You had the Sakaira Draconian Empire, the reptilians terrorizing, the Orion alliances filled with multiple different kinds of reptilians and gray extraterrestrial species. The Lani discovered Earth about a million years ago and they settled a colony here starting genetic experimentations on the indigenous humanoids. Shortly after, the Sakaira Empire found them and arrived here as well as they normally do. I guess destroying the Lyra star constellation wasn't enough. They chased these beings down all throughout the universe. And a series of historical conflicts occurred known as the Tarian Wars. It was violent in many different other parties such as the Anunnaki, Orion Alliances, and many others got involved. The Sakaira wanted to 
to enslave the genetically upgraded Terrian species. While the Lani and the Anunnaki had better plans, a little more humane, the result of these long battles ended up with the Sakaira and the Nagi warriors were drawing underground, while the rest of the troops left the Terrian systems. Nowadays, the Lani are supporting the Terrians in their spiritual awakening, working together with other races of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, the Council of Five, to Terrians' ascension and purging the elites and the cabal. The Lani are some of the oldest souls in our galaxy, and their knowledge is said to have been contributed to Atlantis and Lumeria as well as the element of fire. Now they exist on several different galaxies and thousands of different planets on all dimensions all the way up to the ninth dimension. In ancient Samaria they were known as the Irma, these fierce warriors that helped the Anunnaki go against Set who was trying to destroy Atlantis and Lumeria. In ancient Egypt the goddess Sekhmet is also a representation of this Lani species and she stayed behind after all the others left to take care of her offspring and her magicians that she was watching over to make sure that the genetic strand that was put here on planet earth would continue to grow they worked alongside of the Osiris clan helping the Egyptians and also they were known as deities within the Egyptian and Sumerian empires. The Lani are tall humanoids with beautiful feline face features for the upper part of their head from their flat nose with noticeable nostrils to their long heavy red or golden hair, although their mouth is humanoid-like as well as the rest of their bodies. Their ears are small rounded and they have a tail. Their skin is generally light brown and is covered with short silky fur. And their eyes are all sorts of shades, amber and turquoise being the most common. Sometimes they have used bird genetics and can look like birds like the Kari, the blue avians. They did this to preserve an endangered species. The Lani can still be found in ancient stone reliefs and even the Sphinx in Egypt as a representation of the Lani, and it is to be said that some of the secrets of Lyrian culture and the Lumerian and Atlantean cultures is actually underneath of the Sphinx. The Lani are here to help us realize our true nature. The Lani understand that the level of consciousness on planet Earth has an effect on every other part of the universe as it is all connected. For this reason, they volunteer to come to our planet for the blossoming of our creative energy. Do you have a little lawn in you? Could you possibly be a lawn starseed? Here are some signs. You're adventurous and not fearful of the unknown. You come across as serious. You feel that you have a purpose and you pursue it fiercely. You are a natural leader. You are drawn to the stars. You sense an underlying truth in art. You are a problem solver. You believe in human potential. You dislike authority figures. You are quiet and reserved. You can cope with challenges. Your happiness does not depend too much on external circumstances. You are very independent and you love animals. Thank you so much. Please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the bell so you're reminded. This is Robert Earl White with the Order of Light. Have a wonderful day.